Christ, I really do need a haircut. So, yeah, after about four months or so, I am finally back into the very mediocre recording studio workshop thing that I have in my old house. So, uh, right now, it's um, in, in the United States, it's Thanksgiving break, and um, because we're celebrating Thanksgiving, because that's a thing for some reason. And then after that, um, I have about two weeks of online homework, and then we have about a month off for winter break, and then, yeah, so basically, I get about two months off for um, essentially... Um, doing whatever the hell I want, really. So, um, I might as well just grind out as many videos as I can. And what a better way to start that with an unboxing video, because, um, I don't have enough of those on my channel. So, yeah, this is a $150 Lenovo laptop that I got off Walmart, uh, literally about, like, two weeks ago. And I left this underneath my desk for about two weeks. So, uh, I'm just now opening this. So, um, uh, you might be asking, why did I buy a $150 laptop from Walmart? Uh, mainly because um, it was $150 and I needed a video idea and then here we go also because one of my friends asked me to get him a cheap laptop that wasn't a Chromebook and it wasn't shit so um, yeah here we go um, so um, a very very mediocre box and also if you haven't noticed we have an A cam and then we have B cam so hello world I guess I don't know um, so we got battery thing, uh, we got the Lenovo logo, which looks very meh on this very meh box, and then, um, I don't know what model this is, is there a thing? Uh, it has an Intel Pentium, I'm assuming, 4 gigs of RAM, 120 gig SSD, integrated GPU, 14 inch screen, Windows, Tome, Windows 10 Home S, um, this is a Lenovo idea pad thing, so, um, Let's see what $150 gets us. And, um, I need a knife. Where are my knives? Knife! Oh, shit. So, um, brick seal. So, you might be asking, again, uh, why, why, why would you subject yourself to $150 of what is probably gonna be absolute trash? And I would reply to them saying, uh, because I wanted to test out a $150 piece of trash. Also because, um, Apparently this uh, got decently mediocre reviews and um, Yeah, also as I mentioned before I need to get a cheap uh, laptop for my friend for uh, school because his old one broke and his budget was like $200 and he didn't want to get a Chromebook because uh, he tried it out and he thought it was shit and yeah, so uh, let's um, Okay, so Yeah, that's it's a laptop, um, what else is in the box? Uh, okay, so we got a decent thing that looks like a knockoff of a MagSafe charger. Uh, nothing in the box, so you can go over there. Uh, first glance at this, this actually feels not trash. It's definitely rigid, it's definitely, um, there's flex on the top, there is not much flex on the bottom. Uh, I do not know if this has upgradable parts or not. I hope there is, and, uh, let's open this. Um, let's hope B-Cam will get this. Does B-Cam have this? B-Cam does have this. Okay, so, um... Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, Monova Service. Thank you for your purchase. You're going to love this. Get 15% off your first service order. Thank you, I will probably not do this. Ooh, this looks interesting. Okay, so we got Pentium Gold, that's a thing. We got IdeaPad 3, I don't know what that means. Um, keyboard is a thing. Trackpad looks very meh. And then um, the screen looks, well, after not turning it on first, it looks fine. It's probably a TM panel or something. Now I'm debating if I should turn this on or open this first. I'm gonna turn it on first, so I don't accidentally break it. Um, and it's out of battery, okay. Um, just give me a second, I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, so. Are you gonna, is it gonna work maybe? Okay. Okay, it turns on. Congratulations, people. We got, we, we done a thing, people. We done a thing. Yeah, you, um, the screen looks fine when you just stare at it, you know, directly, but, um, yeah, definitely, oh, 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 we can go to the floor and, um, 
Uh, there you go, B Cam. You can get a thing now. Um, just a moment. Okay. Oh, ew, Cortana, I don't good. like you. Don't worry, guys, this is only gonna take several minutes, so we're gonna be here for a while. Um, I might as well clean this up a bit. Um, <sighs> Alright. Wow, first thing we get, welcome to Microsoft Edge. Wow. Okay, uh, uh, we go inspirational, informational, or focus. Let's go focus. You are not connected. Damn you. Oh, oh shit. What? Uh, oh, okay. Um, that's an interesting background. Okay. Um, uh, first we gotta change my background because we don't want that. Uh, what's a good background choice? You know, after typing on this keyboard for literally only 30 seconds, this is actually a really solid keyboard. Hmm. We'll go for this one. We'll... All right. There we go, people. We saved it. I made it. I made it ten times better. Bam! Right there, hundred times better. All right, let's actually get into the somewhat mediocre review. Uh, so let's actually get into my like two minute review of this thing for after I use this thing for like ten minutes or so. So for hundred fifty dollars, honestly, I'm somewhat impressed. I would say, uh, first of all, the keyboard. I actually really like this keyboard because after using the Magic Keyboard on my MacBook, I just thought, yes, this is the pinnacle point of keyboards. Not really, because, I mean, the original uh, uh, scissor keyboards on the like 2015 or older MacBooks, honestly, A tier or S tier, I would say. Honestly, you really can't beat that. But honestly, using this keyboard for like literally 10 minutes, um, I honestly like this keyboard as I type this into the uh, search bar because I can't type. I honestly like this keyboard and I miss I, gobbledygook I don't know I can't type anymore so basically keyboard actually pretty damn good what is not good is trackpad this trackpad not great because I don't know if you can hear that because I have a lot of background noise but that's a lot of mm -mm -mm -mm. so it's fine it's it's good enough honestly because I mean it does it does the job fine I just tracking's fine I just don't like the feel of it I mean you probably might I don't like it's a trackpad it'll get the job done it's one of those track it's like a surfboard trackpad you can only touch the bottom area the top area still tracks you but you can only click on the bottom part which is kind of dumb but what, what what can you expect for a sub $100 laptop and honestly um it's fine there's not much there's oh that's a lot of flex in the keyboard I haven't tested that that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of keyboard flex. Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, the screen. Um, I'm a, is this a 1080p screen? I haven't checked. This is not a 1080p screen. I just realized this. This is a 1366 by 768 uh, screen. So uh, that's slightly disappointing. But it's a 14 inch screen. I think it's less than that. I I'm too lazy to t uh, measure that. I think it is. Probably is. I don't know. Um, it's good enough. I would say it does go all the way to the. Uh, it does um, do a 180 degree, uh, 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 I don't know what the term is, uh, the, the fold, I guess. I don't know. I words English hard. Um, viewing angles, honestly, kind of shit. I'm not going to lie. Like, if you turn it at, like, a solid 45 degrees and you stare right directly at it, it's fine. Um, but it does that, I guess. There you go, B cam. There you go. And, um... Yeah, it's fine. And um, so that's uh, that's the experience use. What's the um, actual um, laptop itself? Um, definitely plastic. Now for I.O., we got a um, SD card reader. We got a headphone jack. I don't know what that is. And then for the other side, we got um, our barrel plug, our HDMI port. And then, oh, wow, that's a lot of USB. We've got three USBs. I don't know if they're type or I don't know if they're USB 3.0 or 2.0. I think we have USB USB 3 here and then 2.0 here. I'm assuming. I don't know. I probably am wrong. Don't don't take my word on this. And then for the back, um, I don't know if the back is actual use uh, server the, the, the words of uh, actual user uh, upgradable. So um, I should probably turn this off. I just realized. Now we're just going to. I need a different screw bit. Oh no. Is this one of those dumbass ones where. I really hate laptops like this where you actually have to fry at it. Why can't you just be a simple thing to take off? I understand. 
that this might void my warranty already, but granted, I don't care. Let me open your guts. Oh, okay. So, we got um, our Wi-Fi thing. We got what I'm assuming is our SSD. Is that the SSD? MME, yeah, that's our SSD. So, we got, here's our 120 gig SSD. Um, we got a, oh, oh, that was a, oh, shit, I guess I should probably do that somewhat decently. We have what is probably what is supposed to be a 2.5 uh, 2 inch uh, uh, either SSD or hard drive bay where you could upgrade storage, but, um, the connectors are not there, so that's slightly disappointing. We got our battery, which is um, uh, uh, 46, 70 milliamps or uh, 35 uh, watt hours. I, I, I don't know the technical term of that. We got a expandable uh, RAM slot, which I might do, honestly. We got our fan, we got our CPU, what I'm assuming is here. We got bio speaker thing, we got our speakers down here. Got the entire motherboard itself, and um, yeah, and then, yeah, so, now I'm debating if I should actually upgrade the RAM in this. Hang on, give me one sec. This one has gig stick. I do have an 8 gig stick. Well, what do you know, people? We're gonna upgrade the RAM in this laptop today. So here we have an 8 gig stick I got off eBay for like 15 bucks. So literally we just do that and bam we got probably 12 gigs in here that which is a bit of a weird number. So um, we're just gonna put this back. Are you gonna turn on maybe? Okay, we okay. Okay, we turn on. Okay, congratulations. I will admit this SSD is pretty fast. It is NVMe, so I'm hoping that's actually decent. Um because um, some um, drives don't have the uh, the cache usually on it, so this might be a shitty one. I don't know. And uh, let's go into taskbar because I don't like going to the email thing. Uh, taskbar. So performance. And what do you know? We got 12 gigs. Yay! And then we got our CPU, which is at a solid. 51 percent 41 uh, 20 okay it's going down so so overall for 150 dollars i am honestly quite happy with this i can definitely see myself using this for like a week and then i realize i want something slightly better but if you only have like 200 dollars and you probably could find this thing 450 dollars i would definitely recommend getting it unless there is a better option out there that i don't know but um for 150 dollars i can confidently say i'm okay of giving this to someone so um yeah, we're just gonna put this in the drawer and never touch that because I'm probably gonna accidentally drop it somewhere. So, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this video is kind of shit. I literally just one take this entire thing. So, if there are cuts, it's usually because I stumbled and I just started up again. So, yeah, um, hopefully this video isn't too long. And if it is, I'm sorry. I will try to cut it down as much as I can. And I'm rambling on too much. So, just play the intro. Outro.